Alright, so I'm going to show you cabling without a cable needle, a basic four stitch wide cable, two over two left. So these next four stitches I hit, I'm going to twist them left. If it was with a cable needle, it would be called front because I would hold the two in front on the cable needle while I knit the back two. But I call it left because you're not holding anything in front. So um, to do a left twist without a cable needle, you slip the first two on the right hand needle, leave those on there while you knit the second two, which are the back two. Then you grab those two slipped stitches with your left hand needle. Position that closer. So you grab those on the left hand needle and then you carefully slide the two that you worked off well, you put those two on to the left hand needle and immediately put them right back on. It's all kind of one motion. They're hardly off the needle for any time at all. Just long enough to slip those on. And now you got your twist, your left twist. You just knit the next two. If you're going over purls, you would have purled the first two, the back two, and then knit the top two. So the same thing either way. No difference in how you do it. There's a left twist with no cable needle. I'm going to show you a right twisting cable with four stitches, two over two, right? Um, if you were reading the instructions for a cable needle, it would be a back cable because you would hold the first two and back on the needle while you bring the second two over the top. Um, so we're just going to do that without a cable needle. We're going to grab, skip over the front, or the first two, which are going to be the back two. Skip over those and grab the next two on your right hand needle. And now very carefully just slide the two off the left hand needle and immediately back on once once those two are slipped onto the right hand needle. So they've switched, um, they've twisted over each other to the right. Then you flip those back and Everything is in the right order now. For a right twisting cable, you knit the four, and your cable is done. It's at an awkward angle right now, but there you go. Right twist cable, two over two, no cable needle. Once you get the hang of it, it's super easy and quick. Now moving on, cabling without a cable needle. Um, two more basic four stitch wide, two over two right and then left, but over purls this time. So it's the same thing. Um, the, the pattern calls for this being cabled right and then this left, um, both over purls. So I'm just going to do that real fast because it's the same thing I already showed you. So for the right twist, I grab the two, which will be the two front stitches. I pull those over the two back stitches by slipping these off quickly and then right back on again. I slip the two front stitches onto the left hand needle and it's all set. Now I make sure my yarn's in back. I knit the top two, first two, and then I purl the bottom two, which are the second two. That's done. Now left cable. I slip the two front stitches onto the right hand needle first and purl the back two first. Then I grab the front two with the left hand needle. I carefully and quickly slip those two that I already worked off and then back on again. And now I knit the front two. And that's that. Now I've done the last eight stitches, cable right, cable left, uh, over purls. Alright, so now I'm going to show you cabling without a cable needle with an uneven number of stitches. I'm going to cable a right twist with two over four stitches. So the top two will, will go right over the bottom four, six stitches total. So I'm going to take the two, I skip over the four, the four are going to be in back, then I grab the two on my right needle, I slip those four off the left needle, put the two onto the right needle, and then slip them immediately back onto the left needle so that I'm twisting the two over the four to the right. And then I slip those two back on to the left hand needle, 
and that's that now. You just knit the six stitches and your cable's done. So it's the same technique no matter how many stitches you're doing, you just slip the top ones over the bottom ones. It can be any number. Once you get past four in one of the parts, you know, once you're slipping more than four off, it, it starts to get a little bit trickier, but it's doable no matter how many stitches you have. So there you go, right, right twist. I'll show you an uneven number of cables, um, a left twist with two over one. So the top two will go over the bottom one, and for this one I'm going to purl the bottom one and knit the top two. So you work it the same way as an even one. You slip the top stitches, however many those are, in this case it's two again, but it could be more or less. So you slip those two, and I'm going to purl the bottom one. And then I'm going to grab the two. It's really easy when it's only over one, because you only have one stitch that you need to slip off and back on again. So you don't have to worry about the order or getting twisted or anything. And then you knit the two, and that's that. Going over one stitch is the easiest way to do it. But same technique no matter how many stitches there are. Now one last kind of crazier cabling without a cable needle example of how you can do more than just simple right left twists. This cable coming up, these next six stitches, are to be cabled with the two left going over the top and then the two right um, below with the middle two staying in the same spot. So this is going to take a couple extra steps. Um, basically the important thing is that the top two are on top these two can kind of be in either order, so the way I do it is the way that's easiest, has the fewest steps. Um, like the center one doesn't have to be on the bottom one center, as long as the top one's on top. So I start by slipping the first two, which will be the top two, and the second two, which will be the center two. That's my right hand needle. And then I knit the, the last two, which will be the back two. knit those. Then I grab all four of the ones that I slipped with the left hand needle and pull them over the two that I just worked. Flip those off and right back on again. Now I slip two again. These are the what started out as the first two which are going to be the top two. I slip those. Now on here in the left hand needle are now the center two. So I knit those. Um, if you were doing this with purls in the middle, that would be um, a semi-common cable that you might do. You would purl those two, the center two. Now you grab the ones that are now the middle two, which are the top stitches, and you pull those over the center two that you just knit. Flip those off and right back on again. Now you have the center two, or the top two, <laughs> ones that started out on the right and now they're on the left. And you knit those two. There you go. You got this big old twisty cable where the center two stayed in the center and the side, the two switched with each other, the side two pairs. And you got the left twist. You can do the same thing with a right twist. Just um, a little bit different, but the same basic idea of just slipping stitches off and back on again. And Make sure they end up in the right order, twisting the right direction. There you go.